Some call him the architect of the Reagan tax cuts. David Stockman was President Ronald Reagan's budget chief in the early 1980s. Recently, though, he became an outspoken crusader against that Republican effort to extend the Bush tax cuts. David Stockman says we can call him a wayward Republican. He's on the phone with us from Greenwich, Connecticut this morning. David, thank you for joining us on the Inside Track. I want to give you another opportunity to break with the party line and challenge conventional wisdom. John Boehner, in all likelihood, is going to end up championing a budget bill from the Republican Party. What does he need to put in it? Well, uh, you know, I think he needs to uh, put his, uh, uh, you know, uh, votes uh, where the Republicans have been um, engaged in rhetoric for the last uh, 10 or 20 years, and that is to do something serious about the deficit. I mean, we have a huge problem here. It's $100 billion a month of new borrowing. The economy now has had whatever recovery we're going to have. We're now slogging it out 1% to 2% growth. That means that the national income, GDP, is growing at $50 billion a month. So we have a deficit growing at twice the rate of the economy and there's no relief in sight. So in order to get any material change, they're going to have to have huge entitlement reforms, serious, not talking about raising the retirement age uh, for Social Security in 2030 or something like that, but cutbacks right now in 211, 212, 213 for the better off retirees. They're going to have to have major surgery on Medicare. They're going to have to change their position on defense and call for a substantial reduction in defense spending and our force structure if they have any hope of putting something that's credible and serious on the table. Now, frankly, I'm a cynic. I don't think any of that's going to happen. I think uh, mainly uh, they will uh, in, engage in partisan rhetoric. And as a result, we're going to be in a very serious uh, stalemate of governance for the next two years. And I don't think it bodes well uh, for anything in terms of the economy, financial markets, or outlook for the future. Uh, David, we know you've been an investment banker. You're used to watching the economy. Do you really think that the recovery is on such sure footing that the population can support, if not paying more taxes, just not getting any relief. Many people say the tax cuts should be extended at least for another year or two. No, the economy isn't on sure footing, I think, because we have had a 40-year binge of deficit or of debt creation, both in the household and the uh, public sector, and now we're suffering the consequence of debt that we really can't support. And as a, as a result of that, I think we're going to have almost no growth in our our economy for years. This is the new normal. Uh, whatever kind of cyclical rebound there was going to be in the fourth quarter last year, first quarter this year, as we had little inventory replenishment, that's all over. Look at the numbers you had in the third quarter, 2%. That's going to be revised down based on the numbers we got Monday for spending and income and construction.